Hi, I'm Max. I'm an engineer and inventor, and a few months ago, I accidentally invented a machine that opens portals to other dimensions. It's called the Bageltron 2000 because it was initially intended to be a quantum bagel toaster. That didn't work out, but I've been traveling to other dimensions, so that's pretty cool too. I'm going to fire up the machine again today and see where I end up. Turning on the Bageltron 2000. Great, everything looks solid. The portal is up looks stable. I'm going to go ahead and hop on through. All right, I'm still here in the garage. It definitely looks a lot different though. I don't see any of my equipment that's in my lab. It's mostly woodworking tools. There's a workbench here that looks like it was meticulously handcrafted. I don't think we have any furniture this nice in my house, in my dimension. I'm going to go into the main house and see if this is still where I live or Wilson or see if I can find somebody. Oh, hey, Wilson. How's it going? Hey, Max. That, you, uh, something's different about you. That's because I'm not the Max that you know. What? I'm from another dimension. You're from another dimension? Yeah, so I've, I've invented a machine. It opens up portals to other dimensions. It was initially supposed to be a bagel toaster. It, it's a long story. The short version is I'm from another dimension. I just popped in here from the garage where my portal is. Huh. It sounds like a strange story. A little hard to believe. Yeah, it it really is. What about me looks different to you? I don't know. You look uh, a little less fit. In what way? You know, like your your middle region. <laughs> My middle region? Yeah. Okay. You look a little bit pastier. Well, what kind of stuff is the Max here into? Oh, he's into all sorts of things. But he's a he's pretty fit guy. Is he an inventor, an engineer? Does he sure. tinker and, and design things? Like most of us, yeah. Okay, what kind of stuff does he invent or design? And I guess you as well? You're an inventor here too? Well, I think all of us kind of make things from time to time and come up with new and strange ideas, I guess. What kind of ideas? All right, now I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, woodworking. Did you make that bench I saw in the garage? Oh, yes, I did make that, yeah. Well, that's really nice. We don't have anything that nice at my place it. in my dimension. Yeah, so, whip that up over like a weekend. In one weekend? Yeah. That looks like it took weeks to yeah. make. Actually, now that I look around this room, pretty much everything in this room is really fine furniture, way nicer mm -hmm. than the stuff that we have. Well, thank you. Did you make all of this? Yeah. Are you a furniture craftsman in this world? Is that your uh, job I, here? I dabble. You dabble. So yeah, this is this... dabbling yeah. in this world? Sure. Wow. I would really love to see professional quality stuff here yeah, if this if this is dabbling yeah well okay what kind of stuff does the max that you know what kind of stuff does he make yeah so he's a blacksmith interesting so i design like electronics and stuff like that mm -hmm. in my world he did that before yeah speaking of electronics i'm seeing a lot of finely crafted furniture around here but where's the tv and the stereo the and the xbox the what the xbox yeah, or the, like the Nintendo Switch. Where's Nintendo. all of our games and games? Well, and we move? have games over there. Some board games over there. No, no, no. I mean, I'm talking about like the video games. Video games. You don't have video games. No. You don't What's have video? any. Video. You don't even know what video games are. No. Okay. Well, it's a game that you play usually on your TV. Or what is some... a, What is a TV outside of letters? You don't know what a TV is either. No. It's not just that you don't have a television. Television. You're not even familiar with the concept of a television. I don't think so. Television is a screen that you have in your house that you screen. watch shows or movies on. Okay, so a movie screen. Like a so you, you have, have it you so have you, in your house though. It's got to be a massive house to house Okay, so you screen. you have movies. Yeah. You go to a theater to watch movies? Sure. So you don't have any way of watching movies in your home. No. So in my world, 80, 90 years ago, they invented these machines, screens, they're compact, they are in your house, you can watch television programs, so they would broadcast programs over the air. You have radios here? Yeah, we have radios. Okay, yeah, same idea, they would broadcast over the air the same way as radio, but it was video to your home. Do you guys still go to movies? Yeah, I think I go to the movies, you know, a few times a year. Huh. How often do you go to the movies? Oh, like once a week, I think. Once a week? Yeah. What kind of stuff do you watch at the movies? Oh, all sorts of stuff. What are some of the movies that you've seen recently? Stairway to Paris. Is that a comedy, drama? No, that's a uh, romantic. Yeah, what else? My Dog Spot. That one's got to be a comedy, right? It's a documentary. Okay, whose dog was it? Tom Clancy. 
And is Tom Clancy like a major screenplay author here? Yeah, he's done some movies. I mean, a lot of his books have been turned into movies. So in my world, that's also the case. He died a few years back. He died? Yeah, and I think he maybe authored like a dozen books or so. Maybe, Only a dozen? I don't know. Maybe, maybe 20, some, somewhere in that range. Wow, what else was he doing then? And that's a pretty prolific author where I'm from. Oh, that seems lazy. Lazy? Yeah. He's got 65 titles here. 65. Yeah. Tom Clancy Yep, another one coming out next year. 65 books. Yeah. With a 66th on the way. Yes. 66 books is a lot. Of, I mean, it's average. Average here. Yeah. You should see his paintings. His paintings? Yeah. Tom Clancy is a screenwriter, an author of 65 or 6 books, Yeah. and a painter here. Mm-hmm. An acclaimed painter? Pretty good, yeah. His music is so-so. But... His music, he also is into music. Yeah. Is everyone this prolific? So you, you dabble in furniture, mm-hmm. and you've created pretty much masterpieces of oh, fine know. furniture in this house. In addition to, what else do you do? I did some sculpting. Out in the yard, is that eight foot tall? The buffalo? That's yours. Yes. That is very detailed. Thank you. Maybe a little more detail than I'm comfortable with, of mm-hmm. the part that's facing the house. I mean, I guess... Exactly. You don't want that face in the street. You do not. Sure. Know. But you just dabbled in sculpture. Mm-hmm. And that's what you came up with. Right. That's incredible. Well, thank you. So you don't have television. Correct. You don't have video games. No. Do you have a smartphones like this? You know, it's just mm. basically the whole thing's a screen. Oh, wow. Watch videos on it, play games, but- No, you know, we don't have anything Make like phone that. calls and stuff too. No, we have this. We have, we have a phone kind of like that. I mean- same shape and size, but ours doesn't have all that pretty colors. Oh, what? so that is just all text. Yeah. So what do you call that? It's a phone. What do you call yours? A little smartphone. Does it do smart things? So it does things that are arguably fairly smart. We've got productivity apps on here and you email, read your messages, connect to your social networks, that kind of thing. What, you is, what even... is your social network? Social networks. So do we have a thing called Facebook and Twitter? Those are... Silly names. I'm not going to argue. Those are silly names. Those are websites, and there's also apps on the phone where you can connect with all people all around the world over the internet, and you don't have anything like that here. Well, we do have the phone, and we connect with each other via text and talking to each other, but we don't have any, like, pictures or, or any sort of graphics on it. That's probably one of the main things that Facebook and Twitter are used for is people posting pictures of things that they think other people are going to like. That doesn't seem very good. Yeah, it's kind of trash. Huh. What about this television? Like, are the, as you said, programs? Are they are they very educational? Are you, are you learn a lot of stuff from them? Or? Learn a lot of stuff. No, probably not normally. There used to be a lot more educational programming. We had some TV stations, the Learning Channel or Discovery oh. Channel or the History Channel. They used to have some pretty educational programming on those networks, but lately they've kind of all devolved into just garbage programming. You know, uh-huh. reality TV and stuff like that. Reality TV. Reality TV, yeah. Oh, gosh, that reminds me. I got to ask, is Donald Trump the president here? <laughs> Wait, who's Donald Trump? Oh, it feels so good to hear you say that. Really? You don't really want to know who Donald Trump is? Short version... He was a real estate developer in New York that turned into a gross reality TV star. And somehow in 2016, he parlayed that into a successful campaign for the presidency. Wow. A lot of people are pretty dissatisfied with the way he's been running the country. Who's the president here? Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, the Apollo astronaut? Yes. He's an astronaut in your world as well. Oh, yes. We love Buzz. A few years back, he actually straight up punched a dude in the mouth who was accosting him on the street about the moon landing being faked or something like that. Did something like that happen here? Yeah, yeah, that happened. Was he in politics at the time? Yeah. What was the general reaction to that then? Uh, Cheers. Pretty much the same in my world. Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised that he hasn't gotten into politics Hmm. in my world now that I think about it. Yeah. So in my world, there's a lot of people who have kind of crossed over from the entertainment world into politics from movies and TV and, and that kind of thing. It's a not uncommon path that people take. For instance, in the 80s, there was... Are you familiar with Ronald Reagan? Yeah, yeah, he's the movie star, Ronald Reagan. But he's not in politics here? No, no. Well, so in my world, he was the president in the 80s. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, he was elected in 1980. He's a poet. Present tense. Is Ronald Reagan still alive here? Yeah, he's still around. 
Really? Yeah. He didn't have Alzheimer's and... Alzheimer's. We cured that a long time ago. You cured Alzheimer's? Yeah. What else have you cured? Do you have cancer here? Oh, we did, but no, that's gone. You've cured cancer? Yep. You guys have colds there still? Yes, that's still... Occasionally we get colds. Oh, yeah. We got rid of them. You got rid of colds. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It sounds the like you flu. are a lot more productive in this world. Yeah. When did these cures happen? The uh, 50s. The 50s. I think for the most part, yeah. A little into the 60s. When did you guys go to the moon? 54. 54? Is that that right? is 15 years earlier than we did. That's really quite a bit faster progress, hmm. sounds like, than what we had. Can't all just be because of the lack of TV. Well, I guess maybe maybe that adds up. I mean, like, do you guys spend a couple hours a week watching TV? A couple hours a week. That's good. I'd say probably the average person spends at least a couple hours a day, a day? watching TV. Wow. Yeah. And the programs aren't really that beneficial to you guys. Yeah, they're really not. It's, it's pretty much just entertainment, and the quality of the entertainment has arguably gone downhill pretty badly the last decade or so. That's a shame. Yeah. If the quality goes down, wouldn't the people stop watching it? You'd think that, right? But somehow, no. Huh. They don't seem to stop. People watch hours and hours of some of this stuff. Wow. I mentioned there used to be the History Channel. Had some decent programming. It sounds like you a know, good uh, Stuff good about idea. history. It's mostly weird nonsense about like the Loch Ness Monster and and Monster. ghosts. And I, it just the really... Myths. Yeah. It's really weird. TV's gone in a weird direction, huh. honestly, in the last 10 or 20 years. Yeah, it sounds like maybe we'd be better off without it. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean... I do think that maybe I would miss some of the games. Board games. That's like the only kind of games you really... for, like right, sp- sports. Sports, yeah. that kind of thing. But uh-huh. you just don't even have the concept of digital games of any kind. If we started to do that, I think it, it might get pretty uh, addictive almost. It can be pretty addictive. Hmm. Here on my phone, I've got a decent amount of productivity apps and that kind of thing. But I've also got quite a few games. And that's probably what I spend a lot more time on, on right. my phone with. Yeah, that makes sense. I spend more of my time just reading books, learning another language. Sculpting, play. apparently. Yeah, sculpting. So sculpting, on my woodworking, what what, el- what other things? Music as well, yeah. Music. Right. I'm up to five instruments. And do you also compose music as well as play music? A little bit, but not that great. Hmm. The Max that you know here, well, where is he? Oh, he's off. Off. Learning how to fly. That's fun. Mm-hmm. And what else? So you said he's a blacksmith. Right. And he's apparently learning how to fly. Mm -hmm. What else does he do? Well, he was into electronics for quite a while. Mm -hmm. He was building computers. So you have computers. Right. They must have screens. They do, yeah. There's one over here if you want to see right there. Oh, okay. So it's just like a text terminal screen. Sure. And you connect to some kind of network with that? Yes, the internet. But it's just for sending text messages. Right, and reading news. and Reading news in text form. Right. Okay. Max also was a marine biologist. Where does he find the time for that? Oh, he's got lots of time. And what does he do with marine biology? He was learning to, to speak with dolphins. Actually communicate with dolphins. Correct, yes. Is that something that a lot of people do here? Not a lot of people, but he was one of the leading experts in that field. What do the dolphins have to say, typically? Not a whole lot. Kind of keep to themselves, mainly. Recently, I think they thanked us for the fish. Hopefully you're... Is your space program pretty advanced here then? If you reach the moon in the 50s, mm, mm-hmm. have you... We have a sizable colony on Mars. How long has that been around? Uh, 40, 50 years, I think. 50 years. So yeah. is there a separate government that runs Mars then? It's kind of a connected government. Does it have a like their own their own leadership over there? Yes, they do I, their I, own Because it, yeah. the communication would be kind of hard to manage. Right, correct. Yeah, there is a leader there. Who runs Mars? President of Mars is Elon Musk. Elon Musk. All right, well, that that tracks, yeah. You have a Elon Musk there? In my world, he runs a company called Tesla. He so he's here on start- Earth? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's here. On oh, Earth. that's strange. He was born on Mars. He was born on Mars. Yeah, you have to be a natural-born citizen of Mars to become the president. Really? Yeah. Has he ever been to Earth? Do people frequently travel back and forth sure, yeah. to Mars? Yeah. So if I wanted to, I could get my ass to Mars? You could. Do you guys have teleporters? Teleporters. Yeah. We definitely do not have teleporters. How do teleporters work? I don't know. We don't have them either. Are there colonies anywhere else in the solar system right now? We're heading out into Jupiter now. To set up colonies on some of the moons there? Correct. Yeah. So how are these colonies being powered? Like, where are they drawing their energy from once you get that far from the sun? Fusion. 
you have fusion, cold fusion here. Yeah. You guys don't have cold fusion? No, we definitely do not have cold fusion. <laughs> you guys aren't using coal still, are you? Yes. Wow. It's kind of like you guys are going backwards. You know, a lot of people do feel like we've been kind of going backwards recently. Mm. And honestly, I can't say that television isn't to blame. Hmm. Yeah. I kind of want to stay here, but I'm definitely going to take down the coordinates of this world. I got to come back here and get some information from you. You know, I wish I could plug this phone into something and download the cure for the cold or cancer or something, but Hmm. I don't, it doesn't look like any of your stuff is compatible with my... Well, here, you can just, you can have my phone. Can I access anything without your internet here? Oh, sure. It's all downloaded on there. When you say all? All of our technology. Each one of our phones has all of it. How do I look this stuff up? How do I use this? There's just a search feature right here. Anything you want to type in, it'll find it. I can just take this with me? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll get another one. Maybe I'll make one. That sounds fun. This is really cool. Hopefully I can figure out how to use this back in my dimension. I brought a backpack. I've been carrying along a pack of stuff on my trips to hopefully share interesting stuff with the people that I see in other worlds. Hmm. Let me see what I have in here. Oh, yes, yes, this is perfect. So check this thing out. Oh, what is that? A Nintendo Game Boy. Huh. Yeah, it's from the 80s. It was one of the first portable video game systems, and it's playing Tetris right now, which is a game that you line up the blocks, and it's a puzzle game. It's pretty great. It was a huge hit in the 80s. So these buttons, they move the blocks around. Okay. And then... Yeah. It was super popular when I was a kid. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can have that. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Enjoy. Uh Uh-huh. But maybe, maybe enjoy in, in moderation. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out now, so hopefully I'll be able to see you again later. I'll take down the coordinates of this dimension, and, you know, maybe I'll find something in this phone of yours that'll help me dial in my machine and come back here, you know, on purpose next time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then a line disappears. Uh, you one of those long ones. Ooh, there's one. Okay, well, see ya. Great, looks like the portal's still stable, so I'm gonna pop back through. All right, well, that was no TV world, I guess. No TV, no video games. A lot more productive than we've been here. And honestly, it sounds better in most every way. I'd certainly much rather be experiencing President Buzz Aldrin right now. Sounds a lot more cool. I'm going to take down the coordinates, and I'm definitely going to spend some time with this text-only phone that I got here. Uh, It's powered with Fusion, but I don't actually know how to charge it or see if I can make sure that I don't run this thing out of juice, because I have no idea how to charge it. I'm going to set this aside and give the portal another try in a week. Dispatches from the Multiverse is produced by Tim Ellis, starring Scott Trapp as Wilson, sculptor of hyper-detailed buffalo, and Tim Ellis as Max. Theme music by Alpha Geek. Logo by Abe Schmidt. Follow us on Twitter at DispatchesFM, and visit us online at Dispatches.FM. Dispatches.FM